you, you res. Yeah. And then I get all the commit if I re res and you go on the res. And that's exactly what Connor is saying. He said, you know, if, if you had re-raised, it would have made my decision a lot easier. But he was contemplating and coming in himself with the nines, as we know now that he would have flopped the set of nines, and we would have been two players less in this tournament. Unbelievable. I'm surprised that Connor didn't at least, at least see a flop. Well, as far as Heaver is concerned, all is well. The ace-queen in great shape against the queen-10, and uh, ace is holding, and Heaver's going to have 85k on the back of it. I had about uh, 20, 27,000 chips, and I, uh, I shoved queen-10 in the cutoff, and got called by ace-queen from the button, and hit an ace on the flop, and that was, that was it. Big blind on Tony Collins. And around now to Burgess, then Tate. There was a museum name with that name, Burgess and Tate. Yeah. Do you feel like Connor's been uh, quieted down a little bit? Has he taken his foot off the gas? Is he letting the others creep back into contention? Well, he understands the nature of the business, the nature of the game. They need his chips a lot more than he needs theirs. He tries, to, the, the technique when you have a big stack, basically, Jesse, is to try and keep the pots pretty small. Keep the pot small until you have the big hand. Just sort of pick off the, the birds with wounded legs. Oh, that's right. Take the ones at the back of the pack. Raise to 8,500. Par again, the small blind, and he oh. doesn't need to have a hand this big, that's for sure. Yeah. You'd feel awful bad for Tony Collins if he picks up half of something and uh, that's exactly what happened this is situation right timing just wrong i i, I can't add anything to that you just said it wonderfully absolutely wonderfully uh, we've already seen parag raise with a four six offsuit from this spot and uh i mean uh, tony collins has shown a, a lot of poker sense and a lot of heart but he is in trouble uh, this is actually oh, not a bad never, flop for him. Well, he's it's, got four live outs. Well, look at that. Yeah, absolutely. He's probably better shape now than he was pre-flop. 19 percent he here. He is. He, he turn. Six he change flops. nothing. Four nines for Tony Collins. He is cork bound. Out the river to escape. Ladies and gentlemen, you lose on the future table, Tony Collins. I like the move. Quick ride, it is. It was a good move. And of course you love the move, you devil. No. Uh, Tony, you can hold your head held high, kid. You beat out a lot of players to get this far, but uh, your timing was just off. That's all, son. And for Parkinson, who was down to about 3,000 in chips with an hour to go in day one, all of a sudden he has cracked the 100 mark. And... Uh, is sending out a message looking at that hand again uh it, it looked it looked ugly but it made a lot of sense didn't it uh, i did i mean it comes around to park no action to him he raises you know tony <laughs> thinks that you know, park's just on the hustle he fires back at him and unfortunately park had a monster and the cowboys held looking at the chips on the table though parkinson with over a century creeping over not many behind Connor Tate. Oh, he's got to be feeling really good at the moment. Well, I just sat into the seat and uh, Party Parkinson was on the small blind. I was on the big. He, he raised. I thought he was there so I pushed with Jack 7. He had the king so I'm stuffed. <laughs> you see, you put yourself in a position to get this far and anything can happen. A run of the cards in your direction and you're right back in it. Just goes to show you how uh, having a loose image can really get you chips when you do have a big hand as well, doesn't it, uh, oh, Karen? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll pronounce your name right one of these days. Yeah, it's you a tough one. <laughs> I've had it for over 30 years, and I still have trouble with it. Tim Blake with a nice hand himself. Big, slick, ace king. He's licking his chops right now, Jesse. He is. He... Like Tim's got a pretty solid image, and he, he steps out a few times. It's still a pretty solid image. Parks, Parks counting them out here. Do we even know what he has? 
He's announced re-raise, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing that Blake can't be pushed off the ace king. No, he's not going anywhere. Let me see what Park is, though. He doesn't even want to show us. It's 20,000 more, and uh, Blake... Yeah, well, of course, Blake's going all in. Yeah, And oh, Park's Park. in big trouble here. They came, and now they're about to go. This is going to be about half his stack. What's happened here? He just, uh, again, it comes down to where these rays comes from. It's such a crucial part of the game. If Parik thinks that he's on the, if that, that Blake is on the hustle, then ace-10 is a huge hand. Well, here we go. This is a 100,000 pot. Blake all in, but anything but the 10, and he is going to be in great shape. If Parik Parkinson is destined to win this tournament, he's going he's gonna to hit a 10 here. And the king, eight, oh, ten. and he does. But the other lad hits the king. Oh. Two tens in the deck for Parag. All the other cards are Tim Blake's right Turn now. Arm, seven It'll be a big double up for Tim Blake. Parag is getting him ready. And the river. And the king's up. hold. So, and and uh, as quickly so as Parag... Went up to 100,000. He is back down to half a century, passing the chips to the right. And that's it for tonight. So I'm here with our statsman, Noel Hayes, to bring us up to date with the day's action. Noel. Well, Laura, 667 people started just in the morning in the Irish Open wow. here in the City West. 257 returned this morning for their shot of glory. And right now we're approaching the bubble. And that means that very shortly we'll be down to our final 72 players. 72. And, and only these 72 players will leave with money. The big news today was the exit of Doyle Brunson, Texas Dolly, the most famous name in poker. The bookie's favourite this morning at 45 to 1. Was he unfortunately, the favourite? He won't be here tomorrow, unfortunately. Oh. Today, I've just been for a walk around the floor. Peter Linton, Englishman, 260,000, runaway chip leader. Lars Hogard, 200,000, mighty hefty stack. The average is only 80,000, so these guys are running away. Wow. Julian Tu from England, 180,000. Abel Myberg, 190,000. Sorrel Mizzy, last year's third place finisher. The Canadian, 21 year old. Superstar in poker, 130,000. What about the Irish contingents? News on the local guys is Dave Masters, 140,000. Donald Norton, 140,000. And Andrew Grimison, 100,000. 100, the betting markets in the morning when they reopen, we can expect that Peter Linton with this hefty chip stack is going to be around a 16 to 1 favourite for glory. Is he the only one who stood out or is there anyone else? Not really, you know. At this stage of play, Lars Hogarth, 200,000, Julian, 280, Abel mm -hmm. Weiberg, 190,000. These are really good players. Their we names expect to watch. those. 25 to 1, 33 to 1 shot. There could be some value we had in the morning, these right, guys. Okay. Excellent. That's it. Thanks a million, Noel. Who do you fancy before we go? Abel Weiberg is my pick for glory. And why is that? I just like his style of play. He's pretty aggressive and he's, he knows how to use his stack. So you think he'll still be here tomorrow night then? I definitely do. I'll be disappointed if he's not. All right. Thanks for that, Noel. We'll find out tomorrow. Join us next time when our survivors regroup to play down to the final table where 800,000 euro, the trophy and history await our champion. See you then.